Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Starfield and I thought I'd do a quick video today. Shard Space has just dropped virtually hours ago and it's a bit confusing how to get it started so I'm going to quickly go through how to get things started and get the DLC up and running and I will be doing a full kind of playthrough of, um, of the first kind of at least hour of the game so you can get a feel for it but it was important to get it up and running because I know it's confusing quite a few of you. Okay, let's get started. So this is probably pretty obvious, but um, unless you've got the um, premium edition or the upgrade to the premium edition, you will have to buy Shard Space uh, separately. So you can see there's a, it's quite considerable. It's a, a $50 Australian drachma price, which is £25 um, UK. And I will do the conversion in the US on the screen pretty much as I'm talking and um, so depending on what version of the game you've got now I've been playing Starfield on Game Pass so I really haven't had to worry about this up to now it is not included in the Game Pass even um, Game Pass Ultimate the DLC so you will have to buy it separately I just went ahead last night and bought the, bought the uh, premium edition and it, it worked out much cheaper to do that um, and I've got shattered space on top of it. So that, that's the first thing that you've got to do. Make sure that you've actually got it purchased. And um, then you'll probably get a prompt um, once you boot the game up. So when you start Starfield for the first time, and this was strange because I'd seen Starfield updating, but and then I launched the game and I actually got the prompt to update for Shattered Space. Now the Shattered Space uh, DLC is about... Uh, 10 gigs at least for me on Xbox. I'm not sure what PlayStation and PC will be but I would think it'd be around a similar size so make sure that you've got enough space to install it. Also the recommended level for playing the DLC is level 35. I've gone in and played about the first 30-40 minutes at level 33 and my enemies are, are about level 28 so I'm hoping that as I play the DLC, I'll level up to 35 and it won't be an issue. But so far, so good. I haven't had a, a problem in the first part of of the uh, the mission as far as leveling going. But just be aware that Bethesda does recommend a level or level 35 before you start the DLC. Okay, so I believe we've got to jump into space to start the DLC. And once we jump into space, we should receive a distress um, a distress signal. So let's see what happens. So make sure that you have completed one small step before you do any of this. Um, if you haven't completed that mission, then this is what I'm about to show you is not going to work. But um, you should have finished this mission very, very early in the game. In fact, it's it's virtually at the very start of the game. So there's no reason why you shouldn't have finished this, but you might not have talked to Sarah or whatever. So make sure that's done. And um, let's see what happens when we get into deep space. So the big thing here is you've got to, you've got to actually grav drive to a area that isn't being used for a mission. So make sure, so I'm currently in an orbit where I've got a mission uh, active. So what you need to do is um, let's bring up the star map. Just going to go. We're going to get out of this star system, and we'll just go to one other one. We'll go to here. Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, set course. Jump. Okay, so once you get that message, that distress message, it should bring up a mission called the Oracle. What remains? Here we go. Uh, I found a star station called the Oracle emitting a warning signal. So 
um, as soon as you've got that mission active, then you should be able to start Shattered Space and uh, we're off and running. Nice one. So once you've got that mission up and running, the DLC is effectively started and you can start your wee bit of exploration by hopping on onto the orbit um, space station and see what happens next. Like I said, I will be giving you the gameplay from this DLC if you want to have a look before, you know, try before you buy, so to speak. But I just wanted to get this video up real, real quick um, so that you're not sitting there scratching your head and getting frustrated. Um, if it did help, let me know in the comments. Like rating helps the channel grow and, and I really appreciate if you could give a like rating if it was useful. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya.